What's up, folks? Welcome back. In this video, we're checking out the second opening for season two of Kangen Ashura. This is Feel My Pain by Haysmith. I'm very excited. Let's go. It's a cool sound. Migraine. Okay. Give me the blast beat. There's a horn line there. We've got ska stuff going on. Underneath. We'll talk about it in a bit. Yes, man. Oh, nice clean horn line. Trumpets, let's go. Oh, man. Primo. Oh, man, I didn't know it was going to be like this. I'm like, I'm kind of sold in pretty heavy now because it's got the mix of both worlds I love. It's heavy in the beginning, and then there's like instantly ska properties mixed with that. So it's a cool little fusion. And the tone of the guitar, well, after this weird, like, I was like, what, are we about to hear some like sci fi stuff? Because this is pretty dope sounded like in a weird way, you know? But then we, we get the four count in from the hi hat, and then we instantly hit the ground running. And the tone of the guitar, I mean, look, 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 bro. Like, look at the shirt I'm wearing. Like, it sounds like it's got that era of, like, Metallica-esque type. Of, I just, I'm a huge fan of that. You're checking the boxes for all the old people here in the chat. And then the fact that there's a horn line with some, like, I don't know, it's like a fusion of ska stuff going on. Like, I'm obviously instinct to me. Well, I'm pretty biased. So, like, you put, like, band instruments on the stage, I'm obviously going to be more interested, just, you know, naturally. <laughs> We go right to the blast beat. So, like, the fact that we have a mix of all this going on, uh, I'm pretty bought in already. Wow, nice control crescendo there. I like the tonality. It feels like a car horn on that. Uh... And then super... The fill underneath. Like, I don't know, man. I'm probably going to nerd out about this one quite a bit. There it is. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -ba -da 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 like you get that horn line kind of lick, but underneath, like it's kind of butt rocky, and we hang out. Like listen to the guitar line that goes and supports underneath the horn line there. Like for me, this is super fun. There's that fill again. Yeah, super simple. Eighth, uh, 16, 16, eighth. But it's like so clean with how it's mixed in there. Obviously, you know, you're seeing like the video shot. Like, obviously, we're not getting the live audio there. This is a studio mix, but who cares, man? Like, look how badass this looks. Like, for the old people here, I would go down there. I'd be like, fuck it. I don't care. Let me get destroyed in this like mini pit right here. Just because of the band and how good they sound. Like, I'm like, whatever. Just do it. <laughs> It's cool because you get all your up upstrokes there in the guitar that give us that kind of like ska property. But the intro that we had, it's like sublime, but not, but also kind of like Hetfield tone on the guitar, but not like we're just getting a nice mix. I think this is cool. I've not seen the anime at all, but like I'm pretty at this point, I'm pretty invested in the band. This makes me want to watch the anime because I'd have to wait till season two to get to this opening. But you know what I'm saying, though? Like, music does that, though. It'll, it'll make you go watch things if you want to hear this opening um, a million times, you know? Yeah. I like the, the harmony that comes in there after our boom. The second time we get down the horn line, the trumpet player on top is screaming. It's pretty sick. Hold on. Let's get that vocal harmony again. There 
it is. Yeah, man. Like, crucial song design there. You get your shout pre chorus. Like, it works. Imagine screaming that. You're going to scream it right back. Like, the song design makes 100% sense right there. So, great job to them for that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, and the vo it's obviously super processed vocals there because they're like so perfect and they're like world of Melodyne and like everything's drugged and perfectly matched. But normally I kind of complain about those things, but since we got a horn line on stage and we're butt rocking, like it's going to be, it's going to be in the mix of like, okay, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? They were in a boss and what? Wasn't on my bingo card. Okay. We'll go back in a bit. Yeah, man. Outro. <laughs> dude, the fucking crowd, dude. That's heavy. Oh, ride simple patterns. Yeah, man, that was great, actually. Okay, so the Bossa Nova section, 100% would have never have thought that it went there. But for me, I don't know if it's as important to everyone else, but... For me, little stuff like that makes a huge difference because it's just such a reinvestment in like, here, we're going to throw in a completely unrelated style because we're already, f there's massive fusion between, you know, kind of like old school rock, you know, and just ska stuff going on mixed with, you know, it has kind of like a little bit of a, a pop rock sound too as well, which is all, it's cool. It's, it's, it's a nice blend. Just didn't think we get like a little bossa nova <laughs> segment for a moment there. And then it completely takes us out. Like, let's get it again though. Sorry, I missed that. Where's the actual? No, no, I'm not. I'm not far enough. Here we go. <laughs> it's just nice to get that brief tonality break within the guitars on undistorted for a bit. We get our cross stick and the drums and like we're playing actual bossa like patterns. And then we're going to come back in and completely uh, have a nice guitar feature here. And it's important, like, you recognize the style design on the solo. Everything's very tangible because the notes, we're not going, like, face-melting speed. Like, the design, it's it's ascending the entire time, and it repeats itself up an octave. But it's like, how do you suck your audience in? Write guitar features like that. That is perfect use. <laughs> quintessential come out of it let the harmonies and the voice roll you do kind of some stop time stuff in the drums and then we're just going to pick shred down the uh, the guitar there now the other thing we haven't talked about is probably the most important factor musically what's going on is the basis and the drummer it's like quintessential how to be in a rock band and to completely hold all the foundations down because it's just like mathematically solid as it gets the basis and the drummer we're not doing anything psycho we're being completely 100% what the roles require within the genre of music. And it's solid the whole time. There's no deviation, man. Like this is, you want to study stuff of how to get gigs and keep your gigs. 
If you play bass, play bass like this bass player. If you play drums, play drums like this drummer. Like it is rock solid. There's no departures from it. And you can tell the whole way. It's just, it's what you, it's, it's why they call them money beats, man. Like this is how you get paid. Solid the whole way. Perfect. Like every this is like every kick drum sounds the same. Every snare drum sounds the same. Now, granted, obviously, you know, in post production, everything is also evened out. But you got to give you know kudos to the players because they're the you know playing the original the original lines there. But this this is what needed. It's what's needed. And the reason I bring it up is because you know so many times you hear stuff that is just outside of the pocket, and there's too many things going on. But when you get it just like perfect like this. Uh, and trust me, it's you would think like, oh, you just have to play less and just play. That seems like it might be an easier thing. It's not because most people want to do so much and you get carried away. But I wanted to give that praise where the praise is due. Now, this is a nice outro. I love that the tonality shift there because when we get our, our main kind of heavy lick that reminds us at the beginning, we get kind of bookends here. But this switch right here. I, I just really, I dig the, uh, the tonal design there. it's cool and obviously the way the video is shot too with the people like climactically speaking is where the song is like getting everyone to like circle the stage like it just works so there's a lot of things happening here like obviously everything's within the controlled environment of like you know like we're shooting a music video but we have like this crowd to like interact with it everyone on the team has done a very good job in making this kick ass which is uh which is pretty awesome <laughs> Oh, I didn't hear the uh, guitar line above that giving us a little variation on the harmony. Hold on. I was distracted by visuals. Right there. That's cool. Yeah, see, that's boom, boom, and we ended right there. I didn't notice that the first time either. That stuff is really important because it's little thematic ideas that are developed and used tactfully to make it into a cool thing. Again, bum, 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 bum. That's a super simple little groove, right? It's a little riff. Like, it's nice and easy to grab onto, very tangible by everybody, but it's very musical. And that, to me, those are the important things that sometimes we forget about. So uh, hats off, man. That was awesome. Feel my pain. Let's feel it. I... I don't know anything about the anime. You should let me know about it in the comments. Do I need to add this to the Patreon? Like, where are we going? Anyway, let me know what you think. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. Come watch some anime with me on the Patreon. Link for my socials down in the video description below. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Please and thank you. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channels. And catch the next video. You two think you want to watch one of these two videos next. Have a great day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.